And the greatest outdoor show is now in the record books. The 2015 Calgary Stampede, covered extensively by CBC Television in Canada, is over and done with for another year. Preliminary results are that uh, attendance was down 7%, which already, even before the stampede started, was being predicted because hotels had not sold out. That's unheard of in previous years. There was hotel space available. The tickets weren't all sold out. But the take at the gate stayed the same as previous years because the cost of admission has risen, which by the sounds of it had a lot of the vendors upset because they said that people coming in were themselves upset at having to pay more to come in to watch this show. And that didn't put them into the spending mood. Anyway, it's in the record books. All three of Canada's major political parties, leaders, Stephen Harper, Tom Mulcair, Justin Trudeau were in attendance at the start of the Calgary Stampede doing the pancake breakfast and meeting and greeting all the fans of this rodeo that come from all over the world. Though I have to admit that I found it really interesting that I didn't hear any of the media question the leaders about how they felt regarding animal cruelty charges against the Calgary Stampede, which becomes even more important in 2015 as once again, Four horses had to be put down. They had to be euthanized, which is a very uh, sanitized way of saying they had to be killed because they got injured so badly that they wouldn't be able to recover. And one of the cowboys was thrown out of the Calgary Stampede for whipping his horse too much. Uh, I guess there is a limit on what is just the right amount that you can whip a horse or, you know, you don't want to under whip it. You don't want to over whip it there's just the right amount that you can whip your horse and uh, anyway none of the leaders were asked and i think that is a really important question cindy and i have filmed uh, stampedes before we're not doing it anymore none of these bull riding events and stuff like that although i have to tell you that i don't mind watching barrel racing and some of the other events but some even i feel are cruel and one of the things that are, really bothers me is watching calf roping when you see a young little calf running for its life and having a lasso come down around its neck and go tight, sometimes flipping the little calf end over end, it's not a pleasant feeling. I mean, if I had a dog out on the street walking and it took off and I yanked back on the leash so that the dog went flying and somebody saw it, I know that it wouldn't go down good in the books and you could probably be charged with animal cruelty though we seem to accept it out of livestock. Anyway, I would like to know if somebody could ask the leaders, maybe at the debates or somewhere, how they feel about animal cruelty, because it is a major issue and something that I think that they should open up about. I happened to film this uh, calf roping event, this little calf in smooth, slow record, 240 frames per second which is a great slow motion. And this one really shows what happens when that lasso goes tight around the little calf's neck. And uh, to be honest, it bothered me when I filmed it and I just didn't want to see any more of it. There's no way anyone is going to tell me that that was not painful for the animal. I mean, uh, like I said, it's painful to watch. 